Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to go over the way this here valve works. This is what we call a king valve or uh, just a service valve in the refrigeration industry. You'll see these sometimes used in air conditioning but mostly used in refrigeration. And uh, just a couple things to understand about them in order to use them properly. So this part, part right here is where it would normally be attached to the compressor and right here is where it would be connected to our suction line. So we'd have vapor uh, coming back to the compressor where this flare fitting is. If you were to go ahead and put your gauges on right here where we have an access port, uh, you would be disappointed because, let me go ahead and just take that off for you. You'll see here that there is no Schrader valve inside of this. So when we take this off, it's just an open hole and there's nothing inside of there that you're going to be able to, that would normally be pressed in to release the Freon into your gauges. So if you put your gauges on there, you're not gonna learn anything. So what you have to do, you have to take off this cap here on the top of it, like so, and don't lose it because that helps prevent uh, refrig refrigerant from leaking out if there's a small leak right up here at the top of the valve. And there's a little stem here with a square top that if you have one of these wrenches, it's a lot easier to open and close. I will link to this wrench in the description below. In this case, it's a quarter inch size square here on top. And so we can get that to go on there. Now, uh, before I do that, we're gonna look at what position this thing is in. So right here, if we look inside of there, we'll see that the valve is currently in the open position. And so right now, air or refrigerant can transfer through here um, because it is in the open position, like I said. So right here, open, open, but this is closed. Right now we cannot get any air through that. In fact, let me do this. I'm just gonna blow through it. Ah, my cheeks bulging out means that it's closed. <laughs> So I can't blow any air through there right now, but I can blow air through here, just fine. So now you obviously want to access the refrigerant system. So you need to get this to open. And the way you do that is by actually closing the valve just slightly. So I'm gonna put this in the right direction here and now I'm turning it clockwise and about a half a turn right there, that was two quarter turns is enough for me to then be able to access the refrigerant in the system. So I'll blow through this same side port again here I did a minute ago. And you can see that it blows through it just fine. So that is how this valve works. When it's all the way open, it closes this side port here. And when you open these up, I believe you're supposed to uh, put a little bit of pressure on them so that, because um, when they're all the way open, it actually helps it seal better. So you wanna get this nice and just snug when you open it up all the way. Now obviously when you close it all the way down, well, let's go ahead, we'll close it all the way down. Anywhere in between all the way open and all the way closed, all those ports will be a little bit open. When we close it all the way though, like that, so it's closed all the way now. This port here going to the compressor is that is still open to this here um, access port. So what that means is that you can put your gauges on here and it's gonna show you the pressure of whatever is inside of the compressor. These plastic caps, when you tighten these down on top of here, make sure you don't get them too tight because they are plastic and they will crack. So just get them, um, finger tight and then maybe just a tiny bit more with your channel lock. That is how these valves work. 